In this worksheet called Worksheet Protection, we're looking at an HR database. Imagine if you're an HR manager and you've got a trusted assistant and you're turning over to your assistant the task of making some adjustments and changes to this list. First question that pops into your head might be, should that assistant be seeing these salaries, the job rating, possibly their birth dates in here too. Here and there we care about those kinds of data and whether they should be seen or altered. And furthermore, we're also concerned about formulas in certain worksheets. Suppose you've got a list of some changes to be made, and one of them is adjusting some of these hire dates. So your trusted assistant is looking at a sheet of paper and says this hire date should have been in 2000, therefore this is gonna be 13. So the first thing I'll do, I'll make this be a 13, then I'll come over here and make sure that that's 2000 instead of 99. Was that a good thing? Well, in this particular worksheet, that's a formula. I just double clicked at an unusual formula using date diff that calculates the years of service. If you type right over that, you've destroyed the formula. So that's another concern. Now we could possibly hide the salaries or we could also consider making them be visible for reference points and maybe that's okay, but we certainly would consider not allowing anyone to change those and possibly job rating too. And again, we have a couple of different thoughts here. Make the data be hidden and not allow the assistant to even see them or let them be visible but not allow them to be changed. Now, cells in an Excel worksheet have the inherent characteristic of being locked. Don't necessarily know that, but if you click on any cell in almost any worksheet, unless it's been altered, if you go to the Home tab and click in the lower right-hand corner right here, or if you go to Format Cells by right-clicking, you will see a Protection tab and you'll see a box called locked, and more often than not, it's likely to be checked. Reading the fine print here tells us that locking cells has no effect until you protect the worksheet. And so the feature that we're about to illustrate here is about protecting just this worksheet, but we have to make sure that the cells we're going to protect are locked. Now, if we want to allow our assistant to be making changes here and there in most places, we might start by selecting the entire worksheet, then either right-clicking and going into Format Cells or using that dialog box launcher as we saw earlier. Go to Format Cells, the Protection tab, uncheck the locked box. Now, if some of these are locked and some are not, sometimes the box is gray. You might want to click it once or twice there make sure it looks white. None of these cells are locked right now. But now we do want to lock some of them. Maybe we want the salary column to be visible, but we don't want these to be changed in any way. So we're going to lock these cells. Once again, relatively fast, right click, format cells. Let's make those be locked. Click OK. Now the job rating we're not going to change them at all, and maybe we're a little bit concerned about even displaying that information. Why don't we hide this? Right-click and hide. And some of you might be thinking, well, I guess we could unhide that, couldn't we? Well, one of the things we'll be able to do with worksheet protection is prevent entries in lock cells, as well as preventing the unhiding of certain columns. And let's also make sure that none of the formulas can be wiped out in column F. So we'll lock those cells as well. Right click column F, format cells, locked. And so we're ready to activate worksheet protection. Only on this worksheet, we go to the review tab in the ribbon, choose protect sheet, prevent unwanted changes from others by limiting their ability to edit. Now, we should also stop and consider should anyone using it while it's in this state be allowed to unhide columns and rows? That would fall under the category of format columns. How about inserting hyperlinks, deleting columns, all sorts of things to think about here. At a minimum, if you want to allow any changes to be made, you must allow users to select the unlock cells. Now, selecting the lock cells, if we've got the box checked, they will be allowed to select the cell, but they won't be allowed to make any changes to it. 
So you might debate how that might work. Let's uncheck it here and see what happens. Now, if you don't want anyone else to be able to unprotect the sheet, then you provide a password and no one else will know what it is. Enter and then repeat it. It's now in this state. And by the way, a visual giveaway that a worksheet is protected is if you go to the Home tab, many of the formatting features are grayed out. They're not available. So we can't make this text bold, for example, and a lot of other things we can't do. So let's go back to some of the things we had suggested earlier. I'm the naive user. I'm reading that this should have been 2000. Therefore, this is gonna be 13, isn't it? Well, I can't even click there, can I? I'm trying to click. Can I arrow into it? No. So I can't even make a change there. And I want to make my friend's salary a little bit larger. Well, I can't even get there. I can't click on it. And I see that there's a hidden column there. Maybe I'll try and unhide it. Right click. Well, we can't unhide it. So the three things that I suggested here in terms of security, we can't undo. If this person is a little bit more creative, he or she might go to the review tab and say, well, I'll unprotect the sheet but there's a password and that person probably doesn't know. Now, if it's you, on the other hand, you will know and, and you'll put in the password and be able to return this to its normal state. So I think you have a sense of how this might work. The one difference you might uh, quibble with a little bit or might uh, wanna experiment with is if we allowed users to select a cell like this, they could do that, but they couldn't make any change anyway. So it's almost a moot point, but at least there's some things to be thinking about what if the person wants to make any other kinds of formatting changes? You have to think out and go through that long list of other potential changes. But protecting a worksheet is a vital tool, particularly when you've got multiple users involved.